Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity to show you a couple of spaces that, uh, that I'm intrigued with and have enjoyed. Um, I'll try and keep up with the slides. Are we start. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a space that is uh, unexpected and undesigned, which to me makes it really, really special. Uh, we were uh, researching uh, emergency generators for the Bayside Fire Station a couple of years ago and ended up on the roof of the Balboa Theater uh, looking at their generator and noticed, first of all, you could get inside this dome. I don't particularly like it from the outside, but look at the inside. <laughs> I mean, it's just gorgeous. And they've got windows. I mean, windows that leak. Why would they do that? It's just wonderful. <laughs> At any rate, um, next to it was a door. We walked in the door and we found ourselves over the stage. So this picture at the bottom, you're looking straight down. Looking straight down. And you would see your feet if I was a little bit closer there. And see those little red chairs down there? Well, that's the stage. And above it is this room that houses a hand-built organ. Uh, do any of you know about this room? It is, and it's filled with these amazing handcrafted things, all of which move in eccentric ways. There was no one there to really explain everything to me. I'm really curious to know. It would be a great magazine article. But uh, this goes on and on and on. It's all crammed in this old closet up there. And they also have um, these huge doors, like four by eight sheets of plywood that are reinforced. They open and close those things, and that actually changes the acoustics of the stage down below. And then on top of the organ are all these bizarre instruments, which I would love to see operate. <laughs> but you're like, how do they really work? I, I don't know. So um, that is my, my sort of uh, surprise and intrigue for you. It's, they said it's fully operational. It would be really a kick to go up there when it's operating. You might have to have earmuffs or something. Uh, so the, the attic is intriguing, um, partly because of its content, not just because of its space. But the, the space I really wanted to share with you is very special to me, and it also was not designed by architects. Um, and it's the Laguna Meadow. It has all the qualities that architects aspire to create in their spaces, uh, but in the course of intensity and scale, just, just not possible. When Louis Kahn was asked what he did on his sabbatical uh, in the Rome Academy, uh, he said, well, besides sleeping, I just looked at light. And this is a place to, to look at light. It's just absolutely subtle and wonderful. Here is a plan looking down on the meadow. It's actually a group of three meadows, three sort of rooms. The rooms are defined by walls, just like a piece of architecture. The rooms have passages or corridors or galleries, sort of, that, uh, to interconnect them. And importantly, the road does not intersect with the meadow in any way. By the way, this is only an hour from here. Um, and so you, you enter the meadow, much like you enter a Gothic cathedral, in this sort of compressed way, and then you, you burst out into the, the open meadow. Here you see two different seasons and how that kind of compression works as you move towards, move towards the, the large space. You get close to the meadow and you get a little glimpse, a little intrigue, a little bit of theater through the, uh, through the trees there, and then finally you burst out into one of the metal rooms and then beyond you see a second room and then a, then a third room. So it's a, it's a kind of a grand and contained encounter, uh, uh, absolutely an emotional experience. And you can see the walls of the tree made by trees which are rather static. And so through the seasons, those don't change so much. But the floor and the ceiling change radically. And then uh, during a rain or uh, uh, a mist, it, it, uh, there's a quality that is just indescribable. Uh, in fact, uh, I'm working with scientists at UCSD to create mist machines right now to cover all of my architectural works. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
really um, no designer could emulate the sort of rich textures and qualities that the, that the floor of, the, of these, this metal has. Uh, and of course, as architects, we can't economically make, make things change uh, like this. But here is uh, frozen water layered over the, and colored by the grasses underneath it in the winter. And then the inset um, is um, uh, talking about how it's really a, the middle is a stage set. And instead of humans inhabiting the stage set, like in architecture, here it's animals and, and flora and fauna. But the most dynamic thing of all is the ceiling above it. And uh, here, whoops, this is creative. <laughs> the, ceiling, the ceiling is created by a geological phenomena that the winds and the weather from the desert hits a really a vertical wall that goes from the desert up to the mountain plain. And it cascades over that and tumbles and creates these incredible, these incredible events. This is your Zen moment. <laughs> Every five seconds, this, this scene would change in, in a rather radical way, just totally dynamic. Uh, so that's one of my favorite spaces. Thank you.